Hello, everybody. You guys notice anything different? Yes, yes, I put my hair up in little odongos today. Thanks for noticing. Hope you like, hope you like. It is all related in today's video. Guess what we're doing today? You can probably tell from this little shoulder dance that we have an unboxing. <gasps> The things that are in this box are stuff that I really, really care about because today we are unboxing a Sailor Moon makeup haul. That is why I am joined by Artemis today. Gudetama here has a day off. As you can tell from this nondescript white box, I ordered this Sailor Moon makeup haul from YesStyle again. If you guys haven't seen my YesStyle haul, link is popping up right now. But today we're gonna be opening pretty much every Sailor Moon product that they offer on that website. There were maybe two or three products I skipped by because uh, my pocket couldn't handle it. Uh, no special sales this time. I feel like it's been a long time since I've done a Sailor Moon haul. I filmed one before. If you guys haven't seen that already, link is popping up right now. Again, one thing you guys have to know about me. Like, have to. I have an unhealthy obsession with Sailor Moon. And here is proof. one-third of my collection because the rest of it's in Texas and I'm in Taiwan right now so all the stuff that I just showed you was stuff that I accumulated since moving to Taiwan and I've only been here for half a year so that's how strong my obsession with Sailor Moon is and I think I've done enough talking and we need to freaking open this so let's dig in as you can tell from my face, I only got foundation and my eyebrows on. I got no eye makeup, nothing on my lips, and no finishing powder because everything else is over here in my hands. We're going to dive right in and do um, swatch test, put it on the face, see how it works. I'll do a review at the end and yeah, let you guys know about my first impressions of all these Sailor Moon related makeup products. First things first, I'm gonna open this Crate Beauty Sailor Moon Miracle Romance multi carry Balm. Just so you guys know, they have these in all the Sailor Scouts. I got Sailor Moon, obviously, because she's my favorite, but they got Mercury, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, all the main ones. I don't think they have any of the Outer Scouts. Here it is. It is modeled after Sailor Moon's second transformation brooch after she uh, obtains the Silver Crystal. Um, it's super cute, and you open it just from flipping it up and that is the bomb I heard you can actually pop this bomb part off so you can use this to carry other things but uh can't really get it out right now but yeah let's try this let's try this out I got nothing on my lips right now so I need to moisturize before I put on my lipstick it's very nice very moisturizing I'm loving the smell um, I'm gonna put this on my hands too since it said you can put it on your hands Ooh, I can tell why they say you can also put it on your hands because it's like an added perfume when you 
rub them together with the heat of your body it really uh, brings out that smell so I'm digging it while my lips are soaking in that uh, balm let's move on to the face powder so I got this uh, miracle romance shining moon powder flat style I love the packaging I'm definitely keeping the box it is very beautiful very cute with a reflective Sailor Moon silhouette and the design in the back. Very girly, very adorable. Let's open it up. I had a little pool tab here, so the plastic comes right off. That's really handy dandy. I appreciate that. So I don't have to damage the box um, while opening it. Comes very neatly packaged, very safe in this little uh, cushioned pouch. And here it is. Woo! it is gorgeous look at that wow so yeah this is just a bigger version of this star transformation brooch same family same thing um, but this one is a shining face powder so it's a finishing powder it should be translucent from what I read so I thought I broke it so to open up this compact they have a push button here rather than a divot to put your finger under and lift up so you push this button it pops up and you got this beautiful mirror and you got this poof and you guys know from my other videos I usually don't use these poofs I, I can't bear to because once they're dirty they're kind of done for but look at that protective cellophane can you tell what it is that's the moon kingdom and it's so pretty moon kingdom in pink cute little design um, let's take the plastic off. Whoop. Comes right off. And the actual powder has a engraving of the moon, some stars, and Luna. So you see most of the powder is, uh, it should be translucent powder, but you got the shine uh, way up here to add some sparkle to your face. So I'm going to be using that as a highlighter. And... The main part to powder my face. Let's test this out. There's no smell to the powder. I'm going to be using this random duo brush I got from a drugstore in America a long, long time ago. Um, and I'm going to be real with you. I kind of don't want to even touch it because I love the pattern that is on the powder. But we're just going to go for it. We're just going to go for it. Now that I'm looking closer, there's actually three colors to this compact. There's a yellowy color that makes up the moon. Then the one with... Luna's face in it that's that's more of a tan color so there's yellow there's tan and there's that highlighter up top so there's actually three colors to this compact and it is going on uh, pretty translucent I don't think it's adding any color okay so this is my face with the powder on um, I think it does its job, you know, as a finishing powder, but it doesn't really do anything such as minimizing pores or anything of that sort. Um, but it does, um, you know, do its job and soak up any oils you may have. I wouldn't use this to bake. It's not very easy to use. Uh, for baking, you would have to use a lot of it, and I kind of don't want to ruin the um you know the pattern that is on the compact right now it's not too thick it's definitely wearable buildable so yeah there's that now i'm gonna use the top very top shade um the highlighter and see how well it highlights i'm gonna be using one of my sailor moon makeup brushes it has this uh flat brush here i'm gonna be putting it on under my eyebrows since i got no eyeshadow on right now but I have eyeshadow primer on I did put that on before I started filming put that underneath my eyebrows on my cupid's bow and I do the highlight of my nose a little bit different if you can tell from my profile I have like no bridge right here where most people do have a bridge so usually I just I just highlight that one little small part I don't go all the way down on my nose I just highlight on the part that I'm lacking and going back to this brush, I'm going to be doing the apples on my cheeks. And this is my highlight. I don't know if you'll be able to tell much. Um, 
I feel like the most part you can tell is probably underneath my eyebrows and maybe on my nose and maybe on my cupid's bow. Not so much on my cheeks because I just have really, really uneven skin. So highlighter on my cheeks usually doesn't even show up anyway. Next, I'm going to open uh, Clear Beauty or Clear Beauty's uh, Sailor Moon Miracle Romance Makeup Eyeshadow in Flat Style. Again, neatly packaged in a little cushioned envelope here. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. So this is the eyeshadow. As you can tell, this is Sailor Moon's very first brooch. Uh, the brooch that Luna gave her right when they first meet. But yeah, it is gorgeous. I love all the little tiny details of it. Oh, I just noticed uh, at the very bottom here, the bottom edge of this uh, brooch, it says Sailor Moon on either side. Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon right here. And this one doesn't have a design on the cellophane protecting the eyeshadow, but let's take that out. But one thing I noticed about this sponge applicator that I think is really neat is you got one fat end right here and one skinny pointy end. Here it is on my fingertips. We got the gold, the pink, the brown, and the red. Let's do it on my hand. Here it is on the hand. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not going to lie, but both the gold and the light pink, I went in for a second swatch because they didn't show up as opaque as the brown and the red in the end right here. So these two, I did go in for a second dip. These two, uh, first dip, rubbing it on my hands from my fingertips just now earlier. Um, that's how it came off. I'm gonna keep in the spirit of Sailor Moon and use my Sailor Moon makeup brushes. I typically don't use these brushes because I can't bear to. Um, they're more of a a looksy collector item for me, but I'm gonna be using this uh, with this eyeshadow palette and see how it is. Okay, that's it. I uh, used the dark brown shade right here on the outer corner of my lower lash line, uh, blended it in with a darker pink color right here in the middle, and then finally finished off with the bright pink. Um, in the inner corner, the inner corner top part, I used the gold and then the light pink all across the lid, the hot pink in the crease, and uh, brown for the outer corner, which creates this look. Um, not a typical look that I'll go for, but it kind of goes with what I am wearing today and my whole mood right now. So, yeah. Um, that's it for the eyeshadow. Let's keep on going. Before I do my eyeliner, I am blind right now. <laughs> Before I do my eyeliner, I do want to move on to the lips. The balm has completely absorbed. I feel it inside my lips. I feel very moisturized right now. Um, and I did get two different types of lipsticks. So before I put on the rouge, which is actual lipstick, I want to put on this lip cream. Now this is the Moonstick Lip Cream uh, from Miracle Romance Career Butte. Uh, they're all from Creer Butte, or however you freaking say that. I'm probably making a lot of people mad right now by saying it all wrong. Here it is out of the package. It is modeled after Sailor Moon's Moon Stick or Moon Wand, whatever you want to call it. It has the crystal inside of it. There is two colors of this lipstick. There's a more orangey one, and there's a pink one. I got the pink one, and uh, does it have a smell? I thought it had a smell. Now I don't remember. Mmm. No flavor, but uh, there is a little bit of color. Uh, I, I really like this light color. And I don't know how it's going to affect my um, actual rouge color that I got. So I might wipe this off um, when testing that. But before I do, uh, I'm going to let that soak in a little bit. Moisturize my lips a little bit further and move on to the eyeliner so i got the chibi moon version of the eyeliner rather than sailor moon because sailor moon uh is brown eyeliner and i do like my black eyeliner so i got the chibi moon who is my second favorite sailor scout um i do cosplay her a lot pictures right here it's mainly because i am 5'1 so i i you know i accept the fact that i am a, a small short person 
and I should be chibi moon most of the time. So one cool thing I like about this eyeliner is the actual decorative top is uh, removable. So whenever you run out of this eyeliner right here, um, you can always take the top off and put it on another eyeliner and still be festive. Does this fit? Does this fit? Oh my gosh, does it? It doesn't fit. Just kidding, fit on a pencil? Not really. Okay, just kidding. So uh, whenever this eyeliner runs out, you might as well keep the whole pen because this is <laughs> this is the only cap that it fits on. I thought it could fit on other eyeliners, but apparently not. Good to know. So this is a felt tip eyeliner. So here's a couple of strokes I did for you, thin and thick. Seems to be able to do it all. Let's see how it does on my face. Okay, here is the eyeliner on my face. So the very last product I got is the Rouge for my lips. Now I will say, I think this is the most expensive product that I got out of all of these. And to be real with you, it is the product that I am most excited about. It is, da 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 da, Sailor Moon's <laughs> Disguise Pen. Uh, which is actually one of my most favorite item of hers and I feel like she only used it once or twice or maybe five times within the whole entire series and then forgot she ever had it. Um, it is, you know, on my phone case right here. I have a little mini disguise pen right here and uh, yeah, it is, it is actually my most favorite Sailor Moon item of all time more so than her little transformation brooches um, more so than her um, moon wand I just love the disguise pen so much uh, it's my favorite thing and I never understood why she barely uses it here is the color of the disguise pen let's do a little swatcheroo here it is oh that's a beautiful pink it looks different on camera than it does in person but that is a beautiful pink in my opinion just so you know this is sailor moon's disguise pin but they do have all the other sailor scouts uh transformation pins and their shade of color i think uh venus is a peachy color uh mars is obviously a deep deep red rich color um and uh, they have Jupiter, they have Mercury's. So uh, go check it out yourself. Movie magic, I went ahead and just wiped off what was on my lips. Um, if they still look a little bit pink, that's just the residual color from the lip cream and the lip balm that I had earlier. But right now my lips are as bare as they can get. There's nothing on there. Um, but yeah, let's see how this disguise pen lipstick looks on my face. Whoa, it looks so much brighter in camera than it does in person. I like the way it shows up on camera though. Um, wow. Wow. <laughs> I like it. Well, that is everything I got from Yes Style in relation to Sailor Moon makeup. All of these products were made by Career Butte or Career Butte, whatever it's called, uh, Miracle Romance Sailor Moon makeup line. I'll be sure to link all the items down below in the description box for you. But before you guys go, the video's not over yet. I gotta give you guys a review. Y'all thought it was just a makeup tutorial? Girl, I am not a makeup guru. This is not a get ready with me video. This is a review and unboxing haul, okay? So stick around. Now that my face is all ready and done, let's get down to the review. First, let's talk about the multi-carry lip balm slash hand balm. So I think this thing is really cute. It does its job. It's very moisturizing. The only thing that they can improve on, in my opinion, is making the smell more obvious. Uh, there is a smell to this, but it's very, very light. And uh, you can't really tell when it's on your lips, but of course when you work it onto your hands, it starts acting like solid perfume. Um, but the only thing is this little thing is $10 US, so who's going to really put it on their hands? You know, I feel like most people will put it on their lips. And in that sense, if uh, it is primarily a lip product, I feel like they could have uh, infused it 
with a flavor like strawberry or something sweet to make it a little bit more fun. Also, there's two tiny holes right next to the hinge on either side of the hinge. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, I wish they would add a little bit of a chain link or something to like hang it by like a keychain because I feel like this little tiny thing is really easy to lose. So I wish they had a little chain here where you can like clip it onto your backpack or onto your purse and, uh, it, you know, keep it from being lost or misplaced easily that's the only thing that i can think of on how to improve this product but overall it does its job and it's super cute next the translucent shiny moon powder uh from this star transformation brooch i like the large mirror and i like this uh cellophane of the moon kingdom and of course the uh pattern on the actual powder I like how there is three colors to the thing. There's a yellow base, uh, a more translucent, I guess, skin tone base, and of course the highlighter, which uh, brings the shine. It does do its job, but it doesn't do a lot of things that most translucent powder does, which is minimize pores um, and give you a nice, you know, smooth finish. Uh, it does leave a velvet touch at the end and I do like the highlighter you can definitely tell the highlighter at least in real life um, on my cupid's bow and of course in the eyebrow area so the highlighter is good um, the powder itself though um, honestly leaves much to be desired but again um, I am considering that most of these products are you know novelty items I don't think anybody would actually use this for an everyday thing maybe they'll take this to a convention and you know powder themselves at a convention and feel you know the sailor moon vibes it's nothing compared to a laura mercier powder or even um this 3ce blur filter powder that i got in my last yes style haul looking at my face now now that it's been on for a little bit um it it does give a little bit of a um, cakey finish. I'm just being honest. And um, it's not very even on my face, but you know, it's cute. The design, you know, kind of makes it all worth it. If you love Sailor Moon, the packaging itself, like just to have this is already, you know, cool. Next, I want to talk about this transformation brooch, the original one that Sailor Moon had, which is the eyeshadow palette. Now this, I liked. Um, a lot of the colors did turn out opaque. The top two gold and light pink weren't as opaque as the darker colors, but I think that goes with any shadow. But as you can tell on my face, all the colors do work together. They are very complementary, And, um, you know, some eyeshadow palettes can't work in one uniform look so i do appreciate that you know this could all be used for one solo look and turn out like this and look great all the shades do have glitter in them and i would have liked to have one matte color maybe uh the brown be a matte brown color just so it's uh more blendable i like it i think this is actually one of uh my favorite products that i got today next is the eyeliner pen the chippy moon eyeliner pen this is actually really, really easy to use considering the fact that I don't typically like felt tip eyeliner pens. I'll just come right out and say that right now. I typically prefer the uh, whole thin brush application, but in terms of it being felt, uh, I felt like it was really, really easy to use. The ink was coming out very nice and smoothly. So if you're a beginner at eyeliner, um, this will be a good eyeliner pen to have. Um, the only bad thing about it is I wish this fit in other eyeliner pens. Um, that would be really, really cool. But, you know, if this ever runs out, you can just keep this whole um, thing all together. And it is really, really beautiful. I don't know if I show the actual body of the eyeliner, but you see Sailor Moon's beautiful silhouette on it. So this overall eyeliner is very gorgeous. Um, even though that this topper doesn't fit on other eyeliner pens, it's not that big of a deal. You can just keep this whole thing. And plus this body is pink anyway, so it just look really good. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really good eyeliner. It is a soft black though, and not a jet black 
eyeliner. Um, so it depends on your preference. I, I do prefer a jet black color, but having a soft black eyeliner um, isn't necessarily a bad thing either. Moving on to this Moon Stick slash Moon Wand Lip Cream. Um, I actually like this a whole lot. I like that it has a chapstick feel to it. It's very moisturizing, as moisturizing as this balm over here. And it's really nice to have that color. So whenever you're in a rush in the morning, you just need to put on something really fast. It's a really dry day. Um, this is something that could easily replace your lipstick for the day. I really like the formula of this lip cream. Uh, this is something I definitely see myself sticking in my purse and taking it with me everywhere until it runs out. It has such a friendly color for everyday wear, you know, very, very light. It gives you enough color just to bring life back into your lips when you're having those dry, colorless lip days, you know what I'm talking about? Um, so this is something out of everything that I got today that I can see myself using really for real every single day. So this is one of my most favorite products that I got today alongside with the eyeshadow. 10 out of 10, would recommend. And finally, the most expensive product, the Sailor Moon Disguise Pen Rouge Lipstick. So I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. You can usually tell how long it takes me to film a video by the shine of my face. I am incredibly oily. And uh, since filming the first part of the video, there has been a couple hours that have passed. You can see that's still on. I've eaten dinner since. Um, and I love the formula. Again, it's very, very moisturizing. But the downside of that is that I have experienced some feathering. I'll be honest with you guys. I did, you know, clean it up a bit before turning the camera back on. So uh, after eating, there was a little bit of feathering. I do feel like this lipstick or rouge needs to be reinforced with uh, some type of lip liner underneath just to keep it all in and not, you know, go outside of the lips um but as you can tell the color has not faded even though i've eaten um still feels very very moisturized so uh, i love this as well so i feel like out of everything that i bought today the eyeshadow palette and these two lip products were uh the most useful things for everyday wear and also you know the most nostalgic novelty you know fun to have items um this powder i must say would be the most disappointing but it depends on how you look at it if you happen to have drier skin i feel like it will work best for your skin type but because i'm oily of course when i put on a type of powder like this it looks cakey it doesn't look that great because i have all this moisture coming out of my face um Again, this eyeliner is also really good. I don't hate it. It's just uh, I do prefer a brush tip applicator. But if you're a type of person who likes felt tips, this is something that you would definitely would like. And again, it's also inexpensive along with this. These two products are very inexpensive, whereas uh, these four were on the higher end. And I think the disguise pen overall this lipstick was the most expensive item i bought but again as always i will list everything that i bought down below you can click on the links and see how much i got them for yourself and that is it so if you guys stuck around this long thank you guys for watching this long 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 video um i'm very passionate about sailor moon which is why i wanted to take my sweet time and give each item you know the attention it deserved and an honest review so you know people who love sailor moon as much as me would know like don't buy the powder for the use you're gonna buy the powder you're gonna buy it so it looks pretty you know like it's buy it if you think it looks pretty that is a fair reason to buy it but just know that the powder is not friendly for everyday use whereas the eyeshadow yeah lipstick yeah lip cream yeah Bomb, yeah, I mean, don't lose it in your pocket or anything like that. But yeah, you can use this every day too, as well as eyeliner. So that's why I wanted to make this video. Um, hope you guys like it. If you guys haven't already, be sure to hit that like button, click subscribe, and follow me on all the social media. The information is somewhere on the screen right now. 
And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!